All right, so our midsole has dried. We are now going to um, attach it, however, to have some sort of an idea of where we're going to put the stitches. Um, I want you to take the template of the insole, so not the template of the midsole, which is larger, the insole, and align it so that it falls on the edge. Keeping in mind that we don't exactly know where the edge is now, but you can sort of feel it a little bit. Because what we're going to do is we're going to trace this and then we're going to use that as a guide for our stitches. So this is not entirely an exact science, but we got some sort of an idea of where the edge of our shoe is. Now we're going to be stitching on that line. Um, however, when we later glue our insole to our outsole, we don't want the thread of the stitches to sort of make a bulge. So we're going to make a groove all along this line. And there's different uh, tools to make a groove. I only uh, have this one. I'm just going to make a groove. Okay, I've made my groove. Definitely not the nicest groove you've ever seen, but that's okay because this will not be visible. It will be caught between our midsole and our outsole. However, it's important to make this groove um, even if your shoe will be fine without it because the groove we're going to be making later in the outsole, this is on display and it doesn't hurt to get a little bit of practice in here. Um, with our groove in place, it's time to, to sew our um, midsole to our lining and upper. Um, and for this, we're going to be making the holes first and then sewing it. So we need our owl with a sharp pin. And then what you need to do is go around this entire edge and punch holes true and true. You don't have to make the holes too close to each other. Give yourself like a, a generous stitch length. You will hit your last, right? That's fine. Word of advice. This will be easier if you do it in your lap because um, it's easier to keep your shoes steady that way. That's our whole thing. As you can see, I've got holes everywhere and I sort of buried with a generous stitch length here and then at the tip put the holes a little bit closer together. I have meanwhile punched holes in both of our uh, shoes in the midsole. Now before we can sew them we need to take them take the last step which As I explained earlier, we're going to separate the two steps of the typical sewing, punching the hole and patting the thread. So we've already uh, punched the hole, but this still leaves us with a different problem. How are we going to pass a thread through these holes here with a needle when we can't really, can't really see what we're doing, right? To get around this problem, we'll be using this as our needle. This is um, metal wire. It's quite thin. Um, it's uh, the kind of metal wire that is often used by um, uh, people who do flower arranging. Um, so you can find this in a florist. We're going to be using metal wire like this. So cut like a good size and then at the end strip away the coating. And then fold back a couple of millimeters at the end so you get like a little hook and that little hook will hold our thread. I'll be using this metal wire to sew our shoes on one side, I don't know if you can see this, that I made like a tiny little hook by folding back the metal. If I want to pass thread from here through there in the shoe, I'll just insert the back of this long wiry needle and I'll hook my wire around my little hook here and then I'll pull it through like that. I need to pass wire from in the shoe to the outside. I'll start by putting the hook through. Then I will hook my thread in there and then I will pull it back with the thread. 
I'll be using this black thread. What's special about it is that it, I don't know if you can see, they can stick to the roll because it's pre-waxed. Um, waxing thread means that it will help our shoes stay waterproof. Find a place to start and a hole that it's easy to access. thread through. Okay, so I passed my thread through until both edges are equally long. <clears throat> now we'll start working our way around. So I'm going to pass my little hook through this hole. And then I'm going to the edge of my thread I'm going to hook that behind my needle and then I can pull my thread through. This other part of the thread, I'm going to push the back of my needle through. And then when it's almost through, hook my thread behind my little hook here. There we go. One stitch in place. So now with one thread you do this and then with the other so that you know we sort of do stitches like that. You just have to work your way around. It takes a little bit of time and patience but it's really not that hard. So I'm gonna find myself a comfortable spot, put on some music that I like and just chip away at this. <laughs> 